What's up, YouTube? Today we're back with another creating a 5M framework. This time we're going to be working in our logs. Um, as you know, we took a little break, but nothing to do really with much. Uh, first thing we're going to do is start off with a client folder. And we're going to add another folder for server. And inside client, we're going to start it off with a CL underscore discord. Lua. And this is basically just for Discord rich presence. Uh, so we're going to start it off with a citizen dot create thread. In here, we're going to put a function and to end this. And let me zoom in as well because I heard y'all like when I zoom in, easier to read. So we're going to start it off with a while, tr oops, while true do. And we're gonna do a couple things. So we're gonna set Discord app ID, and in here we're gonna put a MP dot Discord dot ID bot. And we're basically gonna copy this MP dot Discord a lot of times, and we're gonna do a lot. So next we're gonna do a set Discord rich presence asset. And in here, we're going to do mp.discord. Uh, asset image. And we're going to do another asset, but instead, this is going to be text. And inside of the text, we're going to do uh, dot asset text. And then we are going to do a small image. So set discord asset small. And discord dot small small assets image. We're gonna lowercase that. Uh, not we're gonna just abbreviate the image. Uh, and then we're gonna do a set a small text as well, which is gonna be the same thing of discord dot small asset text. And now we're going to do an if statement. So an if, um, and this is going to be if you want button. So if mp, if mp dot disc, I could just copy this, mp dot discord dot button active, then what we're going to do in here is going to set a discord rich presence action. Um, this being zero because it's going to be the first button and then we're going to do mp discord and then we're going to do do, do a few things here so in here we're going to have dot action button name one because we're going to have multiple of these uh we're going to have basically two so and then we're going to have dot asset description name one um, and since we're gonna have two buttons you just copy and paste highlight the one change this to the two and uh, you're basically done at that point and then after this end we're gonna have to do a wait and then this is oops mp dot discord dot and then we're gonna end it off just like so another thing we're gonna do is a citizen dot create thread here start it off with that function one more time and just end it like this and now we're gonna do a while true do citizen I guess I don't know why I keep putting citizen wait and then we're gonna do a mp dot discord dot check wait and then we're gonna do a trigger server event and the server event is going to be mp dash logs colon server colon check player on server and then we're going to end this off and then that's going to be done for that next we're going to do a register net event and we're going to do a mp dash logs colon client colon check player and 
next, we're going to add an event handler. And in here, we're going to have the function. And it's going to be, we're going to grab player on. So if the player's on, so we're grabbing that whoever is the player on. Uh, we're going to do a local player name. Uh, for right now, we're just doing, we're going to use the get player name function. And then we're going to do player ID. Um, we'll eventually switch this later to their actual name, but just for right now. And we're going to set local player to be player on. So basically their ID. And then we're going to set, set rich presence. And it's a little long, but player name dot dot uh, quotes space space. And then dot dot player online. And we add dot dot. And then we're going to add a slash dot dot. And uh, mp dot discord dot slot. 5m and then that is going to be it for the discord side of things let's see how how long have we been recording here just don't want to cut it too short but don't want to cut it too long six minutes so we'll go on um to let's see what we can do oh uh, we could have a log for killing people however I don't really think it's needed to be honest. I don't think it's needed. Uh, so we're gonna skip that. I trust my people. I, I trust whoever I let in the server, whoever goes through all that. So we're gonna go into the server side and we're gonna create a new file, which is gonna be SV underscore. And then we are gonna do, do, do uh, discord.lua. And in here, it's very similar. Uh, register, reg server event yes and now this we can go back to this exactly we can copy this just to make sure we have it right so just like that and then we're going to add an event handler in here just like so and with this we're just going to have a comma function uh and it's going to be blank we're going to end it off right there now we're going to do a local player on equals open brackets. And then we do local players equals get players. And then we're going to do for I comma player in pairs. And then we're going to do players in here. Uh, oops. Do. Now we're gonna do a local player equals two number player. So it grabs that player. And we're gonna do a table dot insert do player on comma player. So it's gonna grab that, uh, grab a player, put them in the table. And my ear just like just died for some reason. And we're gonna end that off just like so. And then we're going to do a trigger client event. In this client event, we are going to basically send it right here and set this player's rich presence. So we're going to put this in. We're going to do comma negative one to send to the nearest player. And then do comma I. And then, do, do, do. so we sort of want this done on resource start. So we could do this by adding an event handler here. And on resource start, we just do that. And then we simply add a function here of uh, res name, which is the resource name, and end. And then we could just do. 
trigger this event like so. And then that's basically it. So your rich presence should be enabled uh, after we get all of these done. And let me check. 10 minutes. Could go through this right now. Um, you know what? We will. We will do part of the config right now. So in MP logs, we're going to do a config.lua. And we're going to start it off with MP equals uh, open bracket and then MP dot discord equals these open brackets. We're going to do a wait. Uh, wait equals set to 1500 or 15,000. My bad. Uh, check wait equal to 10,000 uh, slot 5M. Uh, how many slots basically your server is we're going to just basically set this to uh 32 uh id of bot oops id bot uh which is going to be set to a discord bot id uh i don't have that yet i'm not going to post it you can get your discord bot id if you uh go into your discord applications uh developer page and then you create one um so we're gonna have an asset image uh, and you set this all in your discord thing as well. And this is gonna be image large an example. And then we're gonna do asset text, which is gonna be set to text large. And then we're gonna have a small asset image, which is set to who would have guessed small image or image small, whichever one you choose, make sure you add these commas so it doesn't end. Add, and then small text is going to be small text. Now we do want buttons active. So what we're going to do here is set this button active to true. If you don't want button active, you could just change it to false. And then we're going to do an action button name. One is going to be set to, who would have guessed, Discord. It's going to lead right into our Discord. And then you'd set the action uh, button description uh, to be your discord link and you basically copy and paste uh, this so on like I said and change it to two and then you could have something else like a Twitter uh, and then you just basically set this to a Twitter link and then your rich presence should work next we're gonna get into the logs a little bit more but that's for next video hope you guys enjoyed watching post in the discord if you have any questions I could help you out I'm sure other people would help you out as well. Uh, next one, we're going to get into the actual logs of where we're sending and how we're grabbing it as well.